name's Katie Garnier, and the class that I taught this year was the 3D modeling and prototyping class. This class had two objectives. First, just to get them familiar with using 3D modeling software. The second objective was just to get them thinking about a design process where you start with an idea and you end up with a physical product. So the primary assignment was for them to create an interlocking toy set, construction toy set system for kids who were in like kindergarten to second grade. So as much as we could, we modeled a typical product design process that you know a toy company would go through. You start with a discovery period. You research the realm that you're working in, so in this case it was toys. Safety was very much a concern for the age group that we're looking at. We had to research the safety guidelines. So there's the kind of analytical research part of it, but then in discovery there's also talking to your audience, watching them play in this case, asking them about their toys, really getting a sense of, of what they want. The next step was for them to take those findings and synthesize those into design ideas. And then they modeled those in the 3D programs, printed out prototypes. What we worked on first was just was their idea of how these pieces were going to fit together really going to work? This is a prototype and it's not all the sides fit together that well. So we've been spending some time trying to uh, refine the design. Here's a slightly updated version. You, you can't really see it, but we put in a little bit more space in between the, um, the interlocking sides. We wanted to see if that would help it stick together more easily. So really important to any design process is going through a series of iterations and really like testing out what you've done and coming back to the drawing board and saying like, how do we address that? How do we fix that? And then testing again. We went through a few iterations of these, uh, but eventually we, we came up with this. Being able to, in a few hours, print out a prototype of something is immensely powerful. We can just realize a vision of something in a day or a few days or a week that like wasn't even possible a few years ago. I don't think we know yet where this is going. Mm -hmm.